in this video we will discuss about cardinal utility theory this theory was given by Elvit Marshall now the word cardinal means something that can be measured in numerical terms that is something that can be measured in numbers so with this we can say that cardinal utility is an attempt to measure consumer satisfaction in the numerical terms but with this a question that arises is that utility is a psychological thing I mean amount of satisfaction depends on your way of thinking so how could someone measure it in numbers and if it is measurable then in what terms what is the unit of measurement to answer answer this to answer this question all I have to say is that this method is backed by some assumptions and these assumptions are first is that utility is quantifiable and is measured in utils but by being quantifiable it means that we can express in it in quantities numbers so utils is that rod the unit of measurement in which we measure those quantities those numbers but this util is just an imaginary unit of measurement which is used to calculate the amount of satisfaction of a person it is used to measure utility under this approach the second assumption under this theory is that consumer is rational which means that he always maximizes his utility he knows how much amount of satisfaction he is getting from consuming each unit of the good the third assumption is that utility is additive this means that total utility is derived by summing the amount of utility a person gets from consuming individual units of goods like if a person is consuming some uh, oranges so the total utility he get from consuming certain amount of oranges is the sum of the utilities that he is getting from eating each unit of orange like utility from first orange plus from the second third and so on the fourth assumption under this approach is that marginal utility of money remains the same we will discuss about marginal utility in some another video but for now all i would say that marginal utility of money is the utility of the last unit of the money of the single unit of the money for the consumer by this i mean that if like in form of rupees or in dollars in any form of currency the marginal utility of money is the utility for the consumer of one rupee or one dollar so under this approach we will assume that this utility this marginal utility of money remains same remains constant